It's a little bit of rustic and a whole lot of glam. Do you want to see how I made this corn filled bucket? Then keep on watching. Hi, welcome back. I wanted to add a little bit of rustic to my glam home decor for fall. Um, and I was trying to find a creative way to do that because I cannot find the galvanized buckets with the twine in my Dollar Tree store, so I'm going to have to improvise. So um, I had, when the fall stuff first came out and I saw these little corns with the husk, I immediately thought about these particular um, corns that I picked up previously, I want to say last year, as part of the Michaels uh, holiday clearance. So what I want to do is make them very similar to these and then maybe add a little bit of bling. So for this DIY, I'm going to be using um, probably five or six, if I can find the other one, of these little corns from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this fall bucket from the Dollar Tree. Not a fan of green, not a fan of flowers, but I'm going to have to improvise with this. I'm also going to use um, one of these um, rolls of jute twine in brown. I'm going to be using the metallic paint in sterling silver from Walmart. I believe this was $1.47. Uh, I bought the corresponding gold and I haven't decided whether I'm going to do one bucket or two. I definitely want to do one in silver, but I might do a second in gold, which is why I added this as well. Um, I found this uh, beautiful um, rainbow sparkle silver glitter from the Recollections collection at Michaels. I believe this was $3.99. Uh, I typically get this stuff when I can get it with the half off coupon. I have this iridescent glitter um, that I pulled off of one of these packages from the Dollar Tree. And I will be using the Rust-Oleum Universal uh, Metallic, which is a paint and a primer in one. And I grabbed the Titanium Silver from Lowe's for like, I want to say six bucks or so. I'm also going to use these. Not all of the stores had them, but I found these in the store today. These are the um, window decals stickers. Um, and I'm going to be using these for quite a... Okay, so first off, what I did was I removed the sunflower. I simply just bent it forward until it snapped off. You can probably see that there's a couple of holes, but that's perfectly okay because I'm gonna cover it with one of the leaves anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the corn and the bucket outside so that I can paint it. Okay, now that my items have dried, I'm gonna go ahead and put the twine on the um, the bucket that I just painted white. So, um, as I mentioned, I was probably gonna put the sticker right there to cover the holes. I'm trying to think of, I should probably start at the seam. So I'm gonna put the twine at the seam there. Uh, I don't want to have to go through the trouble of getting out the glue gun right now, so I am going to go ahead and use the E6000 to adhere the twine. So I thought it would make sense to start a seam at the seam. So what I am probably going to do is, on the other side, probably going to put the same amount of glue and then just keep kind of twisting it around. So I'm going to follow the twine, I'm going to hold on to it there, follow it all the way around.
Okay, so this is the final product. I used the yellow corns that I got at the Dollar Tree, painted them with the Rust-Oleum uh, titanium silver paint. Then I immediately, instead of using Maj Podge, I immediately added a, a thin um, glitter with um, the, uh, I guess, the rainbow uh, iridescent type effect. Um, and then I went ahead and added the chunky glitter with the same type of effect. And I'm glad that I did that because um, I think that the bigger chunks gives it far more bling. So um, I took a green pell, a green bucket from the Dollar Tree, went ahead and I painted that white, added the twine to give it that uh, burlap uh, look. And then um, I went ahead and added one of the window decals that I spray painted and added the same um, small glitter that I had added before the big chunks so that it had um, the same kind of theme in terms of the same type of shimmer. Um, I went ahead and used leaves that I had already painted for other projects this year. I think this one was the, another DIY that I just finished and this was from last year. Um, I pretty much cleared out the burlap uh, pumpkins in every store that I visited so I have tons of these uh, to add to different rooms um, and different projects so I like the way it complements the bucket kind of just all pulls together that it maintains the glam that I like in my decor and adds a little bit of rustic for fall I'm super excited I really like the way it came out it exceeded my expectations uh, I'm excited to do more projects. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to